Welcome back, guys. <clears throat> Today I thought I'd do a, an install uh, of the Feliz, F-E-L-I-Z, Arch Linux installer. I've had many requests to do that, and so I'm going to do the install. I'm going to do it in a virt virtual box. So when you boot from the Feliz installer uh, ISO, which you will burn to a USB, this is what you'll see. So you, it's a dual um, ISO, so it contains both the 64-bit and the 32-bit install. Uh, so I'm going to go with the 64-bit, the which is the top selection. So I'm going to press Enter on that. <clears throat> and let's see, it's going to go through a little bit of uh, background work to get us to the menu from which we will select all of our okay so um, the first question is whether you want to petition manually petition the whole device or leave as is <clears throat> I'm gonna allow Feliz to petition the whole device because I'm working with a uh, virtual box drive and again, this is not for beginners. This uh, install process would be more to the intermediate Linux user. Um, so make sure you understand partitioning prior to starting an install of this nature. You want to read up and do as much homework as you can. You want to back up your entire system. Make sure you don't leave anything to chance. So I'm going to select number two. This will erase any data. Are you sure you wish to continue? Number one, and you're gonna you're gonna use numeric selections for each of your answers. <clears throat> okay, so the petitioning was successful. Um, it gave me a two gigabyte swap and a fourteen gigabyte root drive. I, I designated 16 gigabytes in this virtual drive. So we're going to now press any key to continue. Now it's asking if I want to select the long-term support kernel or the latest. That's really up to you. The LTS offers the greatest ability, but the latest kernel will give you all of the updates right up until you're doing the install. Usually it's the day before. So <clears throat> so I'm gonna go with the latest kernel. Now it needs to find your keyboard. Uh, it's asking you to enter the abbreviated key, uh, code for your keyboard layout. So I'm in the US, I'm going to type US. It'll bring you up a list. From, from that list, I am going to select number nine, a <clears throat> US keyboard. You can, there are ver many variations. As you can see, there's a Mac US, Amiga, Atari. I'm gonna select the number nine, the US designation. Okay, now it's asking me for my time zone. I am in America, so I'm going to select number two. And then it wants the first city, the first letter of the nearest major city. So I'm going to go with New York. I'm going to put N, and then it's going to give me a menu with all of the options, and I'm going to select number two. So now the system is going to attempt to try to find your locale. You can either enter EN for English, you can enter GB for Great Britain, you can enter US for, for the United States. I'm going to go ahead and enter US and then it's going to give me several US variations. I'm going to go with number two which is the English version. <coughs> Now it wants to pick a host name for my computer. So I'm going to pick F E L I Z Arch. 
Now, now you have an option to add various software packages to your install. What you're going to do is you're going to select each of the categories one by one and select any packages within that category that you would like to install. So I'm going to go with accessories first. Press enter. <clears throat> the only thing I'm going to go with here, yeah, I'm going to go with um, four and five. So four for my text editor, G edit, and five for G parted. So I'm going to select four and hit enter and then I'm gonna select five and hit enter and then I'm gonna select eight because I'm done with that category okay now I'm gonna to go to desktop environments number two now you can install multiple desktop environments in this case I'm gonna go with uh, LXDE which is number six which is lightning fast now it's gonna ask me for a uh, display manager now if you're going with LXDE the obvious choice would be LXDM LXDM will also work with XFCE so I'm gonna select that one uh, you could also go with light DM but with LXDE being my first desktop selection, I'm going to go with the matching display manager, which is LXDM. So number three. Okay, now I'm, I'm going to select XFCE because I'm going to go with a dual desktop system. So I'm going to select number nine. The display manager is already set as LXDM. Do you wish to change it? And I'm going to say no. And now I'm going to select 10 because I'm done with desktop environments. So now I'm going to go to graphical, which is category number three. And for graphical, uh, the only thing I'm going to install, I think, is events because I do want a PDF reader. So I'll select one. And then... Uh, and I'm pressing enter after each of these uh, selections and then I'll go with uh, gthumb as a basic image viewer and I'm done so number seven enter now for internet I'm going to select category four and I'll go with chromium as my browser and you have the choice you can go with any one uh, any other program that you see here that you might want I'm not I'm not gonna pick any of them at this point so number eight I'm done for multimedia I'm gonna select category five uh, the only thing I'm going to select here would be uh, well I'm gonna actually select Banshee OpenShot number five VLC and then number seven because I'm done for office select category six and I'm just gonna go with Abby word and G numeric that's all I'm going to select um, actually I'm gonna go with the calendar and task manager um, number four but it's that's automatically included with XFCE so I don't really have to select it here so we'll go with number one, number two, and I'm done, number six. For programming, I am going to install git five. And I am done. And then for window managers, eight. Okay, uh, with win for, for the window manager, uh, because I selected uh, XFCE and LXDE, my window manager is already loaded so I'm not gonna select another one and number nine I am done now it's asking me for a username I'll go with Len uh, do I want VirtualBox guest utilities I'm gonna say yes
and now it's going to show me all of the settings that I have selected up to date. It hasn't installed anything yet. So you have the option of pressing enter to install with those settings or enter an item number if you want to go back and change it. I don't need to change anything so I'm going to press enter. <clears throat> now it's going to go through the install procedure and it does it section by section and it, it, it tells you what it's doing. So you saw where it said uh, generating mirror list now it's going to install all of the packages that I selected. Right now it's downloading and prior to installing Feliz you want to make sure you have internet connectivity preferably Ethernet. So I'm going to pause the video while it installs all of these packages and I'll be right back with you. And one of the things that's nice about Feliz is it goes ahead and now it's installing the <clears throat> desktop environments, the uh, display managers, and it's also going to set up Yawert for you uh, at the very end. Let's, let's keep an eye on it. It's pretty quick. Now it's installing XFCE, um, but it's going to install your codecs, it will install and and get everything set up for Yawert so you'll be ready to go when you uh, reboot the machine okay and as you can see it says success finished installing in 20 minutes and 24 seconds finally we need to set passwords so <clears throat> you're gonna set your root password okay let me set up my password one more time here. And I'm going to set up a password for the user that I created. Congratulations, installation is complete, and now it's going to reboot. So once it reboots, you'll, you'll go to your grub screen and you'll see it has Arch Linux. You'll select Arch Linux and you'll boot into your Feliz Arch install for the first time. I'm going to select Len, enter my password. Now as you can see on your first boot your desktop will say default. If you've installed more than one desktop or even if you've installed only one but the first time you boot in, click on that and highlight your desktop environment. In my case, I can go with LXDE or XFCE. I'm going to choose XFCE. And then I'm going to enter my password and select Enter. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to use the default config. And it looks like my, because I haven't, installed my NVIDIA drivers uh, and I went with the non-free uh, my resolution is a little off I'm gonna see if I can adjust that settings display and let's go with um, 1920 by 1080 and apply okay so now you can see my resolution is what it should be this is the first the first boot into your desktop uh, if you if you're running XFCE that's what you'll see now let's see if we can log out and change this to LXDE I'm gonna select LEN and now I'm booting into my LXDE desktop Again, the resolution is not perfect. Let's see if we can go into Preferences, Monitor Settings. Okay, and we will do the 1920 by 1080. Apply. Okay. Save. And this is what you're 
desktop will look like if you're selecting LXDE. So guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed that process. Now you can go ahead and tweak your desktop to whatever it is that you want. Uh, you've got free reign over that. I'll, that's a subject of another video, uh, but I'll let you uh, get on with the, the enjoyment of using your Arch Linux install. So thanks for stopping by the channel. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.